I, I actually sat for a while struggling with what an online version of Bagels with Ben would look like. Um, but I knew that student interest was there because students emailed me and said, uh, can you can you please host something like that online because I really miss it or other people would tell me I was actually waiting until you know later on in the term to participate and now I guess I won't get the chance to and so it, it was apparent to me that the interest was there that the demand was there it was just a matter of trying to figure out how to how to how to create that kind of experience uh, for, for the students are about to share something that's a little more private that's a little more personal I do make it a point to make sure that everyone is aware you know this stays within this space um, uh, and it's for the sake of preserving this sense of community I but I, I have I bring these bagels so that it's a it's in and of itself is a talking point without requiring the students to do too much thinking um, I brought out a facial mask that I have at home uh, my wife and I have a bunch and so I brought out one and I encouraged other people to to, to, to bring out their own facial products as well. And some people did like mutt masks and other people did other kinds of masks. Someone did a, a, a hand mask as well. And it was just really, it was just really interesting to, 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 to see the different types of products that people had, but also really interesting um, and fun um, to see everybody being so engaged in that kind of medium that they would actively participate. nice to see people being so open and, and and personal to 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 other people and that's certainly maybe you don't have the same kind of sharing of food obviously um, with people on this online forum because you physically can't but people certainly still bring that same kind of that that same kind of, of atmosphere that ambiance to the um, uh, to, to the to, to the meetings I think at least just from talking to students and from the teaching evaluations that, that for myself that, that I've seen, it seems like students become really motivated to do well in the course if they can identify with the faculty member, if they can identify with the instructor, if they really like the instructor. And I would like to think that through doing this, they like me a little more. Um, and uh, you know, people would talk about how, you know, they were worried about this course, but it, uh, you know, through all these opportunities to interact with other people and with me, they've become more motivated, more interested in the course. And I think that motivation, com not compels, motivates further, but subsequently motivates them to do well in the course, because why would you want to do well in a course in which you don't really, that you don't really care about, or, you know, that you feel very sort of, isolated from other people. Um, so I'm, I'm hoping that this sort of breaks down that kind of barrier. I still try to maintain um, some level of, 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 you know, some level of separation and professionalism with students and students do comment on how I, I do seem to be able to strike that balance between, you know, keeping a professional relationship while also establishing um, a sort of very uh, informal friendly relationship with with the students and um, I think you know everybody has a different calculus in terms of what they're comfortable with in with regard to the balance between professionalism and informality and friendliness 
So that's up to individuals to, to that decision is up to individuals to make. Um, but I, I really do think that connecting with students in some way, right, uh, beyond just teaching them in a classroom setting, I, I think that kind of connection is beneficial for, for them. And it's definitely been beneficial for me because I learn things from my students as well.